Disappointment and anger filled his heart. This was not turning out like he had planned. He thought to himself, he lied to us. It was a day of ultimate denial and betrayal. A day when a friend, a follower, and a disciple believed that Jesus could no longer be trusted. Jesus was not the Messiah that he had proclaimed to be. He was not going to deliver Israel like he had promised. Jesus had tricked him, tricked them all. Something had to be done. This was the day his heart was exposed. Jesus had been with Jesus three years now. He had seen the work of his hands, had heard his teaching and experienced firsthand his compassion and love. Yet in all this, Judas did not see his heart, did not understand his mission. Judas, like many of us, had expectations for Jesus. And at first, Jesus was fulfilling all of those things. The crowds were following him. He was teaching about this kingdom that was coming. It was exciting and it was right. But now things were getting strange for Judas. Jesus was taking on the religious establishment. He was making them angry. And he wasn't even talking about Rome. And isn't that who he's supposed to be overthrowing? And then he was talking strange and confusing his followers. Judas had a plan and Jesus was not following it. It was now clear to Judas that Jesus would not overthrow Rome and set up his kingdom in Jerusalem. The momentum was there for sure. The pieces were in play, but Jesus was just letting it pass through his fingers. Judas looked with his eyes, but he could not see. He could not see the heart of Jesus or the plan. Jesus did not want the worldly visible kingdom that Judas wanted. He wanted much, much more. He wanted the hearts of his people. He wanted the hearts of all people. He was bringing a new, perfect, eternal kingdom. This kingdom that Jesus was bringing exposed the heart of Judas and eventually will expose all of our hearts, whether in this life or in the next. It is inevitable. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord.